Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Typing on your phone is easy for short text messages, but if you want to work on it as you would with a desktop computer, writing long documents, managing Excel sheets, and then on to screen navigation and typing experiences become cumbersome quite fast. Today I have some solutions to making working off your phone easier. So let's check them out. Our phones are capable of a lot more than we give them credit for. They are much more powerful than the systems used to be maybe 10, 20 years ago. But a lot of that performance is being left on the table due to the way we interact with them. This video is targeted at users who want to work off their phone, which they have with them most of the time. Touch typing with only your thumbs or swiping across the screen is fine for a sentence or two. But for the road warrior who wants to work from cafes, anywhere they have access to the internet, I have two keyboards with me, both are Bluetooth, but each one has their advantages. The first one is by Portronics and it's a Bluetooth keyboard. Simple, minimal design and small enough to store away in the backpack or if you dare in your pants pocket. A suit will be able to house it too. Rectangular in shape and it's held close using magnets. The keys are a good size and they are separated. This layout is called the chiclet style as they look like little chiclet gum. And the key travel is decent and you have good feedback too. Some keys are smaller than their desktop counterparts but most of them look to be a good size. We have a micro USB port on the side for charging and the top has these LEDs that indicate the charging status or the current status. Status LEDs displays if the keyboard is ready for Bluetooth pairing, if it is blinking blue, or if it's connected, it stays a steady blue. Keyboard works with iOS, Android, and Windows devices, and we have dedicated buttons to switch between the device modes using the function key. The hinge, which is in the middle, does not allow keeping the keyboard open. So if you wanted to place the keyboard on your lap and type, this will not work. It does take getting used to due to the varying key sizes, but after a while it is fine. It's not small and does look equivalent to the size of a phone and it is a bit thick too compared to a standard phone. It's a good keyboard, but a missing trackpad does make it lose points. Other than that, it's fine. Not the best, but better than typing on your phone screen. The next keyboard I have is a neat little folding keyboard which takes up almost the same space as the Portronics keyboard but has a trackpad too. Not a massive trackpad, but still not bad. It supports uh, Bluetooth 3.0 and is compatible with Android, iOS and Windows and also Mac devices. Keyboard key layout seems to be similar to the Portronics except for the trackpad hinge which is extra and size wise it is of course going to be bigger and the key travel feels similar to the keyboard earlier and uh, the touchpad is small but it supports multi-touch gestures which is a plus especially in windows this keyboard also has leds over here to show the bluetooth mode if it's connected or not if the caps lock is on etc for turning it on and off you have a switch over here the keyboard also charges via USB-C, which is better as I don't have to simply carry a micro USB cable with me. The hinge as before is not sturdy and it cannot keep open on its own. So you will need a table to place it on. I have seen 3D printed supports which allows you to keep it open better, making it more lab friendly. But that is an option only if you have a 3D printer. The keyboard folds down easily and is held close by magnets. It's quite thick and larger than the earlier keyboard but if you need a touchpad then this is a better option. Also there are tons of manufacturers that have the same design and are only rebranded but the prices also vary quite a bit so make sure you compare between them before picking one. Also these are not only good for phones but for anywhere you need a portable keyboard. Maybe a server controlling a computer from a distance connected to a TV. Use it on a Steam Deck in desktop mode, an iPad. Being Bluetooth, both keyboards connect easily and work really well. In order to make viewing on a phone easier, I'm using a foldable stand, which allows any device um, from small phones to even tablets, angling them at the correct angle for visibility. This can be used for media consumption too. I use it with my Fold 4 and it makes using it in Dex mode so much easier. So those were the two Bluetooth keyboards I have used. I also have a Logitech K400, which is also wireless, but the only drawback it has is that it needs a receiver to work, which is a bummer, because you will need a dongle for that then. These compact foldable keyboards are great for users who want to get a bit of work done on the move. 
So what do you guys think? Are these worth it? Make sure to comment below. Also make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.